Hi, and welcome to a Mystic Dude Last Epoch video. Now, a couple of people have asked me to show what build I'm running, uh, and how I'm playing it, it as it's a variation of what others are doing. I, uh, I have no doubt that I'm probably doing it wrong, <laughs> and I'll need to change it. So I'm running healing hands on a pally, on a paladin. I was leveling up with Rive, and I took it off, Rive off, and went just full on in lands when I got to about level 90. And uh, yeah, I'm currently at 98, as you can see. I'm uh, pretty standard what I'm running. So I'm just uh, stacking healing effectiveness everywhere because uh, as you can see on the uh, healing ads if you uh, if you hit alt it gives you uh, a scaling per attun attunement attunement uh, a five percent point so it's saying there i've got 220 percent extra if i bring up my character See, I've got 44 attunement, and if we come to it, me healing effectiveness we're currently just over a thousand. I'm going to hit 98. I'm going to rework this build when I get to 100, so I'm still leveling with it. Uh, it's not finished by any any point, so I need to increase this crit chance and. Uh, Group multiplier uh, and keeping keeping this effectiveness uh, as high as I can and balancing this attunement. As you can see, I'm capped out on uh, resistances and I'm not too bad on armor. So there's a bit of play play area here. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the the gears. So I'm running the uh, health lost, health gained on the braces. It's pretty much a gimme on a lot of builds uh, at the moment. And I'll just mouse over these. As you can see, some are pretty good, you know, but some are not. Like, so the physical damage, it's not really doing much for me to uh, in increase voice damage, void damage. So some of them have got a few throwaway stats. Yeah, so it's not min max by any chart. I've stuck a shield back on for the moment. Uh, I'm probably going to dual wield. I just can't get the sword uh, that I'm looking for. So we'll quickly look through passives. Again, this is it's still a work in progress. Uh, I'll probably rework these. I've got 13 points here. I probably don't need these. I'll probably shift some of them points into this one. I'll, I'll cap that out. Lights of Rare. So that's pretty much where we, we go. And skills. I'll just open them up so you can see where the skill tree is. I'm not going to discuss them too much. So, the Oleora, again, it's just something you've got on. Forget about it. I've set it to fire, as uh, Ilinan's, even though it doesn't say on the tooltip, it, it is a fire, fire spell, a fire ability. Uh, again, I, I might rework this. And, uh, I probably I, if I get my attack speed, I can set them points out and st stick them across here. Uh, sigil, again, it's good when it's up. It gives me effectiveness. You can more or less uh, forget about it. It just gives you a little passive boost. Uh, Every now and again, sometimes it auto casts. So 
it's uh, yeah, it's just it's just the uh, uh, same with like the Oleora. This is sort of like your movement. Again, it's just a, a bit of a utility ability. Go back to this volatile reversal. I think this is overrated. Everybody loves it. Some people say it's the best ability in the game. I won't go that far. What it does do is that, again, it's, it's another one that you can just, when you're at bosses, it gives you a bit of a, a damage increase and a bit of a haste buff. So again, it, it doesn't really in interfere with your uh, your play style too much. So I'll just quickly jump in and uh, demonstrate how you play. It doesn't matter. Let's jump in this one. So I'll just quickly show you how to play. If if you're new to a game like me, sometimes it helps. So on this build, as you can see, my health health is low and my rewards quite low. But as soon as I start spamming the healing hands on a channeled ability not only does it heal me up it puts me ward up so this is what a lot of people are playing as you can see there currently i'm, I'm hitting 16 17k just short of 3k health you know so i probably average it you know on average 19k ehp so basically what what you would do is uh Make sure you've got some of this on before you go into combat, then you don't, nothing surprises you in a one shot. Then use your lunge just to get to enemies and the dead. Now, this one's at, currently at 200 corruption. And as you can see, I can just pretty much stand around. You just move to abilities. Now, as you can see down here, I've got some buffs coming up. So this is Divine Essence. That comes up. Forget this first one, that's off the shrine. This is from my sigil. And you can, I've got four at the most. I just, if you rewind and look at the skills, go through it, you'll soon work it out how they work. That's my healing hands. Heals over time. You'll see that come up. And again, Divine Essence. So, when you're in combat, they're going to die too quick. And then the other buff that you'll see come up, I'll just hit the volatile reversal now, and you'll see that come up. So, it, it gives you a bit of a hair, hair speed. You're not too bothered about the, re the return on your health. So it can be a bit clunky to use that that volatile reversal because it, it will move you back. So I'll just quickly show you something. What I tend to do is, so let's say you're attacking and you move. It'll move you back to where you were. That's great if you can manage that. I find it better is if you just use it while you're static. Just get the haste buff and... It drops two voids, so there I've hit it, I've not moved, so it puts a, a debuff on the enemies, that gives a, gives them a damage taken increase, it gives you a haste buff, so you're dealing more damage as well, so it, it just helps dispatching some of the, the bigger bosses, and we're not going to get any big bosses, are we, to, uh, to see? I'm taking this slow, then you can sort of uh, see the uh, how the rotation works. As you can see, a lot a lot of buttons. I'm, I'm only using healing hands and lunge. I don't need the rest uh, at this level. 200 corruption. This one is just a reminder. So I don't really need the others yet till. Uh, across either big packs or multiple packs it's uh it's handy to have 
the lunge on cooldown gets you out of trouble. So again, I've not used anything. Oh, there's a big guy here. Watch. Again, just healing hands, smashed him. You can see at the moment the crits are not that high. If I go onto the, if I go onto the target dummies, uh, they'll they'll top out around about 130. 250k at this level but on, on the actual enemies you've got diminishing returns you've got level resistances and stuff like that so basically that that's the build it's really easy build to play but like I say you can see I'm just topping up one button there every now and again I'll let me lunge to move it's got two charges on it. It's got a 4.3 second cooldown, so you're not too bad. If you if you time it right, it keeps you moving between packs and encounters. The Holy Aura, again, that's permanent. That's that one on the floor. As you saw, I cast it there. But it's on permanent. You forget about it. Sigils, again, you can see it orbiting round there, and there's four of them, and they can replenish automatically them sigils uh, off melee hits, and then, like I said, volatile reversal. Now, there's a, a, there's a lot of people with a similar build. There's so many variations about this build. There's a lot of them running with uh, Rive, which is fantastic because you can get Rive to auto cast the healing hands, but uh, you need to stack quite a lot of uh, melee attack speed by what I've seen. And it is a high crit build. I, I might probably go back to that build when I get to level 100 and I, st I start getting me, uh, me items. The items I was telling you about, as you can see, is... Uh, I've been saving some, so I'm forming one of these shields. I'll probably go with one of these shields if I can get a LP2 or an LP3, it'd be nice. It's uh, not totally necessary, but it just gives me that uh, apocalypse, which apocalypse does doom damage, uh, applies doom, and it is really, really strong void damage. Uh, 400 base, one of the strongest abilities in the game. The other options I've got, I've got an LP3 maze there, which has got Vengeance on. I could possibly ignore the Vengeance and it'd still be pretty good because I've got 45% attack speed, plus 5 to attributes and movement speed, so it's not too bad. Now I like this mace down here, but I can't get an LP high enough, they're all ones. Uh, and I haven't really hit anything on the belt side or the boot side. And loads of these siphons, so... Uh, just mouse over. Exanguous, that's a, one, uh, a body armor that a lot of people use instead of these gloves. But again, without LP on it, it's pretty bland. It does the job with the mechanic of the, the health at drain with the mana increase. Uh, the attack speed is really good. Uh, but yeah, without the LPs, I just find it a bit bland. Now, the weapon I wanted to show you as an alternative, which I've used, is this one. I have rain. Now I've dropped three of them up to now. Uh, but again, we are LP. Any legendary power on it, it's just missing that little bit. But because healing hands is a fire spell, uh, and I'll show you. You probably hear people refer to it as a fire spell. Is uh, where is it? 
So that converts into a melee. And as you can see, the two Seraph blades, sorry. It, this is what converts into melee attack. And as you can see, it deals fire damage on it. So when you are looking for your fixes, make sure it says fire damage. Yeah. Uh, to be relevant. So that Eye of Rain works in great with this because it gives you extra fire damage. And we're just saying from Seraph Blade, it's a melee, hit. we've got plus 30 fire damage, we've got crit multiplier on it. You know, it's really, you know, and it gives us stacks of uh, Rain's Eye for five seconds which increases your crit strike and fire damage so it's really good but it's just a little bit uh underwhelming without that lp on it you just need them couple of extra stats because the healing effectiveness and melee damage you can get from a shield i just think at the moment i'll weigh it and let's say i've got this shield and i've got a better one somewhere uh so yeah, it gives you options. That's what's good about this game. I need to replace this. I'm looking for one of these with a Sentinel Relic with fire damage and healing effectiveness, as you can see. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm in the hands of the God for the look. And the other alternative weapon was this. That This worked really, really well when I tested it. Now, I need to go back and test it a bit more. But uh, the intelligence is no good for us. But the attack speed and the fact that it consumes your ward, it seemed to work well in with with this uh, drain and the healing hands. And I was getting some big hits with it. Uh, so this is something I can test a, a bit more. So yeah, there's plenty to work on. It's not finished. Uh, the one thing I would say watch out for is on the affixes there, on the helmet. So I'll just close that down, then it doesn't distract. On the affixes, the plus two to healing hands. Yeah, I would watch out for that. I literally didn't see any of them affixes till uh, I was about level 95. And if we're going to be crafting materials now, I will just put hands you can see I haven't got any left it, they're just ridiculously uh, rare I, don't, I just can't understand why that affix would be so rare so keep your eyes open for, uh, for them constantly check yes. the shop for uh, actually what have any constantly check the shop for body armor or uh, uh, helmets that you can smash up to get the affixes so just you know make sure your your loot filter is set up so I've got it as you can see uh, I've got it set up for hybrid health let's just type in hands and we've got in healing hands. So, uh, yeah, make sure you keep your eyes open for these affixes. Very hard to come by at the moment for some reason. And uh, I'll just mouse over these again. And you can see I've got Shred Army, really strong strong shred army with healing effectiveness it's what helps you just mince through even though you're not doing the big numbers it just helps you mince through these uh these items these uh monsters these enemies so i hope you like that demonstration i've gone on too long as i always do prattle on but i thought i'd explain the build uh and sort of the mechanics i haven't gone too in depth about it with the numbers and the the mathematics and the scaling and stuff like that uh, but yeah uh, if you are playing last epoch and you're new to it like me i hope you're enjoying it like i am 
and uh, if you've got any questions feel free to hit me up in the comments feel free to like and subscribe if that's your thing and uh, for now mystic dude out